So I'm gonna be honest with you guys. A lot of you don't know this because you don't actually know me, but I'm stupid. So I know what you're wondering. Why, why are you calling yourself stupid? So basically I had this idea for a video and I knew what I wanted to do and all that stuff. So I plan it out. I do everything that I wanted to do, but I didn't record any of it. None of it. Why? Because I live streamed it. When I realized that I live streamed this whole build and didn't record anything. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm gonna keep it a stack with you guys. Whatever footage you're gonna see is gonna be pulled from my live stream. And th that was not intentional. That was not intentional. I did not mean to do that. I, I honestly planned to record separately and then, you know, live stream me doing other stuff. But again, I'm stupid. Anyways, on that note, what's up everybody? My name is Peter. This is Unexceptional Tech. And today we're talking about, surprise, 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 keyboards. Today we're talking about another keyboard build. Now, this build is not for me. This build is for my wife. Now I know what you're wondering, why? Why are you building a keyboard for your wife? So, when I built my keyboard, she already had a mechanical keyboard. There's some Cooler Master, I uh, forgot what it was, but it had red switches and all that stuff, and it was really, really loud. So when I modified my drop shift, she got, got kind of jealous because my keyboard was so quiet, and she really, really liked that. So I'm like, okay, fine. You really like it. You're my wife. I love you. I'm gonna build you a keyboard. So I asked her a couple questions. Is there anything that you really, really want with the keyboard or must haves? She needs a keypad because we work from home and we use numbers all the time. So she needs the number pad. And um, that's basically all she really said. So there was really no price point. There was no any, she had no expectations about what she wanted for this keyboard. She basically left it up to me. And my wife is very conscious when it comes to the price of certain things. So I wasn't really gonna go super overboard building her this keyboard. I wasn't gonna go spend $300 on a case and all that stuff because she would have just looked at me like I'm crazy. So what I did was kind of budget for this keyboard. And the good thing is, is that she loves the keyboard. <laughs> the other good thing is, is that this keyboard is quieter than my keyboard. Yeah, that kind of, Kind of hurts a little bit. Anyways, so what kind of keyboard did I get her? So for the case, I got the case and the PCB off of it. It is the BM980 RGB. It's a plastic case and a hot swap PCB, which is really nice because I really did not want to have to solder switches on there. Just in case she didn't like the switches that I got her, I could switch them out. It's also VIA and QMK compatible, which is fantastic. And I got it in black because she's not really a bright color person. So along with that, I got her different switches. My wife is linear gang. She likes linear switches. So she wanted something quiet and I knew exactly what I wanted to get her. So I filled the keyboard up with silent alpacas. Now I have heard silent alpacas before and they are just beautiful. They're, they're so nice. Again, I'm not a linear type person. I don't like linear switches, but the way the alpacas sound, even though they're a silent switch, they sound really, really good. So I got her some alpacas, and then I also got a set of Everglide stabilizers from Amazon. Not bad stabilizers, honestly. I think they're just Duroc clones. They're screw-in stabilizers. The ones that came on the motherboard itself were clip-in stabilizers, so I had to swap them out. And then the keycaps that she wanted, she saw that I had putting keycaps on a previous keyboard that I had. She wanted those. Okay, cool, saves a little bit of money. She liked them. I didn't really carry the ways, so whatever. Now that we got all that taken care of, it came to building the keyboard. So the first thing I did was I modified her switches. So what I did was I lubed the switches with Crytox and I also filmed them to, to tighten up the tolerances in the switch a little bit because I saw a lot that, you know, alpacas are better when they're filmed. So that's what I did. And it took forever. If you've never filmed switches, don't because it is terrible and I will never do it again. I'm not even joking. I hated it. I will never, ever, ever do it again. So after the switches were lubed, then I go on to the PCB. I put the stabilizers on, I added dielectric grease to the, to the cables and I lubed the actual stabilizers. And then on top of that, I put some medical tape 
for like a band-aid mod so that way they weren't sitting directly on the PCB and it worked very very well. So stabilizers sound good, the switches sound good, and basically it was time to marry the two together. So the one thing I don't like about this case is that the fit of the switches inside the case it's not super snug so with certain keycaps I can actually pull the keycap and the switch off at the same time. I get it that's what you get for buying a cheap case but she doesn't really ever pull the keycaps off and if anyone's gonna be doing that it's gonna be me but it doesn't damage the keyboard it doesn't damage the switch at all and uh, another thing about this PCB is that it's five pin so I didn't have to clip the pins on the switches which is fantastic because that sucks I don't like that but yeah so got on stream and decided to put it together so before I close up the case I put some EVA foam in the case because it's a plastic case it's gonna sound really hollow it's not gonna sound like great so putting a little foam in there will deaden that a little bit and it, it did other than that putting it all together everything went pretty smoothly except when I put a stabilizer on <laughs> on wrong and I had to take off basically the whole right side of the keyboard and to fix that stabilizer so tip for you whenever you're building a keyboard make sure all the stabilizers are done correctly because if not you're going to go back and fix it anyways honestly that was really it put the keyboard together put the keycaps on I was really impressed with the RGB of this actual PCB it's very customizable this is my first time using via as a software for a mechanical keyboard and I definitely like it way better than QMK. I uh, don't like QMK, but Via is really, really nice. A, a couple other things that, that just I don't really like with the with the case is that it's not a screw-in case. It's a it's a sandwich together. It snaps in. Like Again, like I said before, it's what you get for buying a cheaper case, but I get it. The USB-C is also right in the middle of the keyboard. I don't really like that, but Again, probably because of the price point. But those really aren't deal breakers for me and she doesn't really care either. And honestly, it really shouldn't be a deal breaker for anybody because, you know, it's it's not, it's just honestly, it's not that big of a deal. It's just a nitpicking part. And other than that, it is solid. It is a very, very solid because there is a metal plate, obviously. And for its shortcomings, honestly, for about an $80 kit, it really is a pretty good deal. And I got it really quick from AliExpress. FedEx lost it for a day and then somehow it showed up, but the build went smoothly. That That's the best part about it. It went very smoothly except for me being stupid. With all that being said, I know what you're wondering. What does it sound like? And I gotta tell you, it is one of, if not the most quiet keyboard that I've ever seen, and probably one of the most quiet keyboards that you will hear. It's definitely up there. So what's the verdict? The verdict is she loves the keyboard. She absolutely loves it. She likes the RGB. She loves how it feels. And honestly, for the price, because the case was like $80 and then shipping came to about 90. The switches was about $90 also. And the, uh, the stabs were about 25 so for less than 250 honestly it is a pretty good deal can you get something cheaper yes of course but for what it's meant to do it does it all very well so anyways guys that's about it for this video i hope that you enjoyed if you did like it don't forget to click the like button and if you liked it that much you can also subscribe everything that i talked about in this video is going to be linked down below so if you want to check it out go for it no affiliate links, but if you're just curious, you can check it out. And that's about it. So I hope you have a good day, and I'll see you next time. Peace.